question number 35 it says in the figure below line AB is parallel to line ED we are asked to find the value of X we have line AB and we have line ED if these two lines are parallel it means they will never meet if they are parallel any perpendicular line form from AB to ED like this if it is perpendicular I mean straight it will form angle 90 degrees so you can see now I have used this perpendicular line to form another shape that has five angles one two three four five any plane shape that has five angles that plane shape is pentagon so since we are looking for angle x here we know this angle is 90 degrees this angle is 90 degrees we are given that this angle is 152 this is 140 so if we add all these five angles together we are going to obtain 540 why because there is a particular formula that will always guide us in finding the sum of all the angles all the interior angles of any polygon and that formula is n minus 2 times 180 for sum of the interior angles where n stands for the number of angles in that uh, polygon for here we have one two three four five it means that our n is equal to five then five minus two times 180 this is equal to three times 180 and uh, 3 times 180 is equal to 540 this is in degrees so the total angles here uh, is equal to 540 so now it means that if we add all of them together we are going to obtain this 540 so we can do that we have here 90 degrees we have another 90 degrees from here we have 152 degrees we have 140 degrees and we have x let us first of all add all of this together before we equate them we can equate them to 540 degrees so we have 90 plus 90 which is 180 and 180 plus 152 plus also 140 collectively we have 472 degrees plus x which we are looking for the whole of this equal to 540 because we are looking for the value of x we can now subtract 472 from both sides leaving only x here to the right hand side we have 4 540 minus 472 all of them in degrees so if we subtract this 472 we shall obtain 68 degrees and therefore our x is equal to 68 degrees which we have here as option b now let us move on to question number 36